you probably clicked on this video because you got this email from Shopify telling you that your DMARC records are out of date. And if your DMARC records are out of date, your emails are probably going to end up in spam or Shopify will have to replace your email domain with Shopify's email domain in order for your emails to keep delivering to your customers. Now, not to worry, I'll be showing you today, step-by-step, step, how to go through and update your DMARC records so that your emails actually end up in your customer's inbox. And it's important to get this done before February 1st, because that's when Google and Yahoo are gonna be implementing these new sender requirements, so that way your emails are more secure. Now with that said, I'm Nikita from aspectagency.com and let's jump right into it. So here we are in my computer and before we even go ahead and update anything, we first wanna make sure to see if, even if your store already has your DMARC record updated. You'd be surprised how many stores already have this updated without even knowing. So I'm gonna go ahead and check with my own testing domain that I've set up and to see if I even have it set up. So here we are inspecting and there is no DMARC record published. And this is a tool called DMARC Check Record Checker by DMARCian or DMARCian, however you wanna pronounce it. I'll have a link to this down in the description below on, you know, on this tool so that way you can check yourself, but we don't have a DMARC record published. So let's go ahead and do that for my domain. We, then, we first wanna go and head to our email hosting or email domain provider where we bought our store domain from. In this case, it's Namecheap for me, but it could be GoDaddy, Google Domains, it could be Shopify for you, Bluehost, SiteGround. There's a plethora of them. But what you need to do is once you log in, you need to go to your domains and you need to go to your advanced DNS settings or just DNS settings in general. And you should see a screen like this where you see a table chart that tells you the type of record, a host, a value, and a TTL. So now that we're in this, there should be a button somewhere in your record provider that says add a new record. We're gonna go ahead and click add a new record and we're gonna go ahead and click text record because that is how DMARC records are displayed. Now, once we have this set up, we then need to put in the host to be underscore DMARC. Now for Namecheap, I don't have to put in anything else, but for some hosting providers, you need to put in DMARC dot your domain Dot com. You need to check with your specific domain provider to see if you need to do this. For Namecheap, you don't really have to do this, so I'm gonna go ahead and exclude this. Then for the value, we're gonna go ahead and paste in V equals DMARC1, semicolon, P equals none, semicolon. Now, I'll go ahead and have all of these down in the description so that way you can easily copy and paste these, but once you go ahead and set these up, and leave the TTL to be automatic or whatever the default settings already there. I'm gonna go ahead and click check and go ahead and update that DMARC record. Congratulations, you're done. Now let's go ahead and double check that everything is good and smooth over at the DMARC record checker. And there we go. We now have a DMARC record set up and it is valid for our domain. Now that we got that out of the way for Shopify, if you have a Klaviyo email account set up with your Shopify brand, you may wanna go ahead and check out this video or this video, wherever that link is gonna be popping up here to go through and make sure that everything is set up correctly for your Klaviyo sender requirements. You know, Shopify is one thing, but making sure that all your email marketing efforts are set up correctly is also important. So check out that video up there, wherever it is. And with that said, if you liked the video, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more email marketing tips like this, hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.